Well, as we get closer and closer to the end of October, we see more and more pumpkins. And I thought, well, I'm gonna give you a jack-o'-lantern idea. Not everybody likes jack-o'-lanterns. And if that's not you, you could write words on this, like a Bible phrase instead. But I, I think this is a really fun idea to try. You actually put three round circles to be the pumpkin on a skewer. Now, it's really sharp at one end, so don't forget, just use your scissors and chomp that off and then it's not so bad and you can even dull it up a little bit on an emery board or something if that would be better and so because I'm just remembering being a fifth grade boy how okay you get it well so you put this between your hands and you spin it do you see you, it puts all of the face together even though the eyes are on one the nose is on one and the mouth is on one so let me show you how I made it Basically, we're gonna be folding it, but before you fold it, you wanna go ahead and cut the circles out. And I was thinking, well, what? I don't know, what does the uh, size need to be? Well, I don't know that the size matters as long as you are making them all uniform. So if you cut one out, just use it as a pattern to cut the other ones out and then it'll be easy and that'll help the kids if it's really really too hard for the kids to do that then just take in a circle like an upside down plastic cup and let them just draw the circle around to trace it off it'll be fine if you do that so let's put a couple of triangles on to be the eyes super easy and you can modify see how I'm doing that yeah kind of uh, simple to outline it a little bit and then one more to be the nose and I'm gonna do it upside down but if you want to do words or something that would be fine as well so now we need to we need to fold them all in half like this but really it's easier to draw on it first and then to fold them so I'm gonna fold them in half like this here's the next one I think even young children are going to be able to do this pretty easy you shouldn't have any trouble all right and before we glue them on there let's go ahead and make the top of our stem which is the top of the skewer so I'm just using a marker and mine's a permanent marker. If you want yours to be water-based, that's just fine too. Uh, but it's super easy to do. All right, and be sure to get the very top. You don't want to leave that off. All right, so there's the permanent marker. Mmm, it smells good to me. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to glue these together. So I'm just going to use a glue stick to do it. So do one side at a time, not the whole thing. So glue this one, and I'm gonna glue it to this one. I just wanted to make sure that my nose was pointed down. If your nose is not pointed down, then it wouldn't matter to you which one. But there's no special order. So I'm gonna do this side, and then this side. Honestly, I probably could have just opened this one up and done the whole thing and it would have been just fine. I'm gonna place, I'm gonna place the skewer in here with the stem sticking out and then I'm gonna lay on the eyes so that everything is in place. Kinda hold it still, let it sit up, uh-oh. I put, I put it on upside down, <laughs> no problem. Pull it over, it's a good way to double check it. There, so that was an easy save. Slide this on, yeah, double check. Everything's in place, good, it's already sitting up. I can bend it and get it in the right place. And now the test. Can you see the pumpkin? 
<laughs> it's gotta dry just a little bit more. Well, I think that you're gonna have fun doing this one. And I li listen, I've got lots of quick tips, that time saver things that would help you a ton right here in our, our kids ministry time saver notebook. It is just an obese notebook full of ideas that you can make copies of and hand them out to your teachers so they can have an idea. And it's kind of like training on the go. So I think you're gonna like this. Hey, be sure to check out my speakers page. It might be that you would like to have an event at your church or in your location with a group of churches. I would love to come in and spend the day training them in our one day workshop or in our parenting conference. And I think you'll have a good day and your teachers will be excited to be working and they'll have staying power and that's a big deal. Be sure to check out all the written instructions for this episode in each episode in the show notes. Thanks for joining me.